Now for the next deep tendon reflex, which is the brachioradialis or the supinator reflex, we keep the patient's arm like this. The forearm should be slightly pronated, semi-pronated position. We feel for the radial styloid here and with the hammer, we strike over that area using a blunt end like this. So the normal response is there is, there is slight supination of the arm because of the supinator muscle getting excited. Also because of the brachioradialis muscle, there is slight flexion of the elbow, not much. So the normal response is basically slight supination and slight elbow flexion. Now when there is an inverted supinator reflex that is seen in UMN lesions, upper motor neuron lesions, because of the spillover effect to C7, C8, because the inhibitory response of the upper motor neuron lesion is lost. So there is a spillover effect. So when we do the same reflex and if there is an inverted supinator reflex or there is a UMN lesion, there is a finger flexion contraction here. So the normal response is lost. But when we do the strike over this area, that is the radial stolide, there is slight finger flexion, which is because of the C7, C8 spillover effect. This is known as inverted supinator reflex.